Now we start to learn the key equipoints of hand drain precardium channel. Here, let me introduce an equipoint PC6 to you. PC6 is one of the commonly used equipoints in clinic. I believe that most of you are familiar with this equipoint. We have already learned about PC6 before. Are there any impressions left still? PC6 is a specific point. PC6 is not only the low connecting point of the hand drain precardium channel, but also the eight confront points of the eight extreme meridians. Do you still remember which extreme meridians in is PC6 linked with? PC6 is linked in with the in link vessel. Now, let's take a look about the location of PC6 first. It locates at the anterior of the forearm, two twin away from the distal transverse palmar wrist crease between muscular pervious lungus and the muscular flexor carpi radialis. Now, let's take a look at the video. PC6 is located at forearm in the depression between muscular pares lungus and the muscular flexor capi radius, two twin away from the palmarist crease. We have already reviewed the video focused on PC6 location. You may think this acupoint is easy to be found out. PC6 is located at the wrist side, two twin away from distal transverse palmar wrist crease. Actually, two twin is easily to be defined. Everybody knows that the distance between distal transverse palmar wrist crease and transverse cubital crease is 12 twin. But the key is how to find muscular paras, lungus, and the muscular flexor capi radialis. We should figure out the detailed two tendon clearly. We can make a fist and flex the wrist. Then we can see among the three tendons, the radial one is muscular flexor cap radius. The middle one is muscular paris lungus. Then we can take a look on the other one is flexor cap anaris tendon. We should differentiate these three tendons. We have discussed about the flexor capillaris tendon when we talked about the heart meridian. Now we should focus on the location of muscular paris lungus and muscular flexor capillaris. If we can make clear these two tendons, then we are able to find PC6 correctly. Actually, acupuncture belongs to the precardium meridian distributed at form are all located between muscular paris lungus and muscular flexor cap radialis. Thus, today, we should focus on how to find these two tendons and make clear the details. Next, we start to learn the indications of PC6. The indications introduced in books can be divided into five aspects. The first one is PC6 can be used to treat cardiac disease such as heart pain, chest oppression, trachea, or bradycardia. Second, PC6 can be used to treat stomach disease, such as stomachache, vomiting, and hiccup. Third, PC6 can be used to treat wind stroke, hemorrhagia, dizziness, and migraine. Fourth, PC6 can be used to treat mental disorders, such as insomnia, constraint syndrome, depressive psychosis, mania, and epilepsy. Fifth, elbow pain, forearm pain, and wrist pain. Now, let's take a look on the indications combined with PC6 functions. Firstly, we have concluded the function of PC6 is dredging the vessels and calming the mind to treat mental disorders and cardiac disease. As heart governs the mind, the meridian we learned today is the hand drain precardium channel. Precardium is a surround of heart. Thus, PC6 can be used to treat mental disorder. Second, PC6 is a function to rectify qi and harmonize stomach. 
it can be used to treat a stomachache and vomiting. Let's look back upon when we discussed about the eight confront points of the eight extra meridians. We had mentioned a formula, which is about the compatible acupunct of PC6. PC6 is compatible with SP4. The formula is described as follows. SP4 linking with Chong Mai can be used to treat disease of heart, chest, and stomach. PC6, which is compatible with SP4 linking with Yin Link vessel, can also treat a bowel disease. We have mentioned the compatible acupunct of PC6 and SP4 before. This pair can be used to treat symptoms of stomach, heart, and chest. The reason why PC6 can treat about symptoms is that PC6 is linked with Yin Link wing vessel. Thus, PC6 is functioned to rectify qi and harmonize stomach in order to treat stomach and vomiting. Third, PC6 is functioned and unblock the channel and quicken the clatter. In order to treat extra edema, elbow spasm, forearm pain, wrist pain, and chest pain, etc., this is indication in terms of unblocking the channels and quickening the lateral function. PC6 can not only treat local pain of the forearm and the wrist, it can also treat chest pain according to the distal indication along channel. Fourth, PC6 is functioned to clear heat and eliminate vexation in order to treat febrile disease, energesis, heat stroke, malaria, rubella, and urticaria. This is the effects of clearing heat. However, this is a therapeutic role. It's not as effective as GV14 and LI11. Nevertheless, the function of eliminating excitation of PC6 is not bad. Fifth, PC6 is functioned to clear liver heat and resolve constraint. In order to treat rib side pain, malaria, and constraint syndrome, PC6 is usually used to treat mental disorders in clinics. Constraint syndromes is also a kind of mental disorder. The last function of PC6 is to restore consciousness and resuscitation and treat wind stroke, prostration and wind stroke block. PC6 is mostly used to treat cardiac disease, mental disorders, and stomach disease in clinics. Four common point formula has already been learned before. However, four common point formula is expanded into six common point formula by later generalists. There is a saying in six common point formula called PC6 can be used to treat disease of heart and chest. I'm trying to invite you to think about the reason why PC6 can be used to treat heart and chest symptoms. In terms of theory of traditional Chinese medicine, it is associated with corresponding meridians first. PC6 is belonging to the hand drain pericardium channel. According to the course of the pericardium meridian, chest is distributed right along the course. Thus, PC6 can be used to treat cardiac disease. Second, PC6 is the low connecting point of the pericardium meridian. The pericardium meridian will enter its planning organ along the course route. Meanwhile, the low connecting point it is a key point which plays an important role in the strengthening the relations among exterior interior meridians and spreading meridians qi. In terms of the course of the Sanjiao meridian, it will spread in the chest to connect with the pericardium. Therefore, PC6 is indicated to treat cardiac disease. Third, PC6 is linked in with Yin Link vessel. The eight extreme meridians assumed the responsibility to control, store, and regulate the qi and blood of each meridian. Thus, there exists an ancient thing which is needling PC6 is effective to treat qi 
stagnation and the mess where maxibashin can be treat cardiac disease. In terms of eight confluent points of eight extra meridians, PC6 is indicated to treat disease of the upper jaw and the middle jaw. The augmentations of PC6 treating disorder of heart and chest is established based on the theory of point selection lung channel. That is to see. This is the distance indication of PC6. The second reason is the precardium meridian is closely related to self organ. Precardium is the surrounder of the heart. Precardium will be first attacked when the heart is invaded. The treatments of classified classic has clarified that it is not the heart, but the precardium is the diseased location of the heart pain. The guidelines of acupuncture wrote by Han Qing Dou has indicated that the precardium is the surrounder of the heart. The precardium is thus closely associated with heart embodied in above scene. Based on the course of the precardium meridians and the exterior interior relation, PC6 is associated with three meridians and the one collectors. Therefore, PC6 is able to link with some organs such as heart, chest, and stomach. Many researches have been done in order to provide a theoretical basis for PC6 treating disease of heart and chest. For example, the first one is anatomical basis. PC6 is located between inner and the radius where median nerve goes through in the deeper muscular part. The muscles distribute near PC6 are innervated by median nerves whose fibers come from the six cervical nerves to the first thoracic nerve. So does the gag line segments innervated by the heart which is including six cervical nerve to the tenth thoracic nerve. The fibers are converged between the six cervical nerve to the first thoracic nerve. Some of the nerve fibers delivered from the both PC6 and the heart uh, come from the same neuron. The second is neuron flex regulation. The therapeutic effect of PC6 is achieved by some sensory nerve and the splenic autonomic nerve. The third reason is related to humoral factor. Needle in PC6 can adjust arrhythmia via regulating activity of autonomic nerve system, improving cardiac function enhancing coronary blood flow and activating humoral factors activating by pituitary, a general cortical system. To sum up, the theory of PC6 treating disease of heart, chest, and stomach can be supported not only by theoretical basis of traditional Chinese medicine but also modern science. Next, let's take a look on the manipulation of PC6. In fact, the operation is pretty easy to master. PC6 should be perpendicularly inserted 0.5 to 1 swan. Differentially, manipulations can also be traced in clinics for sure. For example, it can be inserted deeper when penetrating the needles from PC6 to TE5. We can also use collateral bloodletting method to treat wind stroke deserting on PC6. We can use fingernail pressing in specific conditions if we don't have needles. It is effective to press PC6 by fingernail on PC6 to treat car sickness when traveling. That's all we have to see about PC6. I hope that everybody can review the above content in time.